Hey guys, it's David with another video for the Ogre and in this one we're going to talk about exporting avatars and maps from the Ogre so you can use them on any other program. Uh, the first one I'm going to show is how to export avatars. So for example, let's say that this is your main character and if you want to customize it, let's make him a wizard for example. And now if you want to export this avatar, you have to click on this icon. This is the export or share icon that you will see on many other menus from now on. So once you press this, it takes you to a new menu when you can change various different options for the export. For example, you can export as a full image with a background. You can have it export the image zooming in to the face so it acts as a portrait or in this way it is exported with a transparent background so it can work as a token on another BTT. You can also change the image size and I will leave that at 512 pixels for now. Here you can change the name of the file that you are about to export and once you're done you click on this button right here export. It takes a little while depending on whether you're exporting a token or a map and once that's done it will download to your download folder. And once that's done the token or image will be in our download folder and then we can import it to any other program. In this example I'm using Roll20. I'm going to do a quick upload so you see the image being used in the program. And just like that, you can now use the Ogre's avatars inside any other virtual tabletop. You can export any characters in the game, not just player characters. Let's for example export this vampire right here. As you can see you have the same icon right here at the top. And it will take you to the export window or menu. And just like that, you can export it and add it into any other program. You can also export the map that you're playing in by clicking the map edit button. And now you have the export button here at the top. And you can export just like before by clicking right here. You can also change the quality. This is the medium quality, which I recommend. If you go higher, it will take a long time to export the image and it will be a very large file size. So let's try the recommended quality and we click export and after a few seconds the map will download. And finally, and perhaps more interesting, we can also export hex maps that we make using the Ogre. I want to create a quick hex map right now. So let's pick a frozen landscape or biome and let's go with this one. Alright, so we place it on the map and then we enter the, map, the hex map and to export it you again go into the map edit panel and you have the export icon right here. So you can choose if you want uh, the, the icons to be shown on the exported map or not. In this case, let's not put them in there. And you can also select the quality. Let's leave it at the medium quality and we press export. And now let's see how it looks inside Roll20. change to maps over here and upload our map. We have this, the Hankala region and let's wait for it to upload. So I've created a blank page here in Roll20. Let's drop our hex map. Let's make it larger. Let's center it here on the page and now we can also drop our tokens here we can resize it 
and now you can play a hex crawl in roll 20 using assets from the ogre let's add the other avatar we exported the vampire and there you go as always thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with the ogre